Hey guys, I'm going to show you a Hot Wheels Thrift haul. Went to the Dig and Save Thrift store again. Uh, made out pretty good, so I really don't know where to start. So I'll show you these two first. Some two trailers. The f we did not find the fronts, so they're just for, you know, monster trucks now. Oh no. Well, got Quick and Sick from McDonald's. I believe in 2015 is the year this is from. We got this old Tonka. This is really cool. It's all metal. I love Tonkas. They're fun. Um, Epic Fast from McDonald's. I already have two of those, but I don't really care. This tiny snowmobile is really cool because it's to scale. As like um, Wednesday store scale. This other Tonka. This one's really cool. This doesn't go up or down. It's like riveted just right on there. I don't know why. But that's a, another Tonka that we got. Next up is this Toyota off-road truck. That's pretty cool. I don't know what to do with these. I'm just setting them aside in a pile. This thing, I just got it because I didn't want it to get broken. I don't know why. Um, this little thing. I already have two of those. But for the price of that, yeah. We got this Matchbox. Probably from the late 80s, early 90s, I don't really know. Um, that's pretty cool. It's pretty beat, but it's pretty cool. This Matchbox is pretty lame. It's missing the ladder. It's just nothing special. The front of one of these from McDonald's, 2011. We have another McDonald's car from the 90s. The taxi. We have another McDonald's car from 2007. Well, the last two you saw, the gray one, I think it's called Ram Slammer or something, and the taxi, I have both already, but this matchbox, but the door opens, so that's really cool. And then we got Dodge Neon, needs some cleaning, the Speedosaurus, that's pretty cool. Um, power Pistons. It's very chrome and shiny. One of these Lego race car things. This um knockoff of the Hot Wheels ice cream truck. I don't know, it's funny looking. So I got it. Um, yeah, Dog Fighter. I've been looking for this forever, but it's always overpriced and it's always broken. But finally, I found one super cheap. It's perfect. The propellers are a little a bit bent. Uh, we got this Ertol trailer for like tractors. That's an old one, and my brother has a lot of tractors, so that's good. We got this semi, which is pretty cool because it's to scale, like 164 scale. It's pretty detailed. Um, just good for like dioramas or something. I have no clue. This majorette, which I don't know what's supposed to be in the back, but. This is a Pro Stock Firebird. Nothing special. I already have one. Um, off track. PC. PC Master Race. Um, yeah. That is. We also got this. And then the two best, car wise, is this red line. I don't know if you can see the red lines, because the front ones, the red lines are gone, but the back, they're still there. They're just... You can see the red lines. That's really cool. All four wheels, and it rolls pretty decent, I guess. That's super cheap. And then, this is even better than a red line, even though it's not a red line. The Greyhound Bus. That is a beautiful looking car. It is amazing. Yeah, it's all metal. The interior is metal. The bot, this part is metal. The base is metal. The, plats, the plastic wheels and the plastic windshield are not metal. So yeah, that everything, that is awesome. I never thought I'd ever find one of those. I've never seen those things before. That's amazing. So now we're gonna move on to like, small track things I got. So we got two track, we have four track connectors, but the other two are connected to track that we got. 
got six of these, but two of them are connected to track. We got a small Hot Wheels launcher. It's like really tiny. Here's a Hot Wheels car next to the Hot Wheels launcher. I forgot what these are from. And then we got some barbed wire fence. That's not really Hot Wheels, but it's so cool. Regardless, we're going to move on to bigger track things. So we got two of these long pieces of track. Like, I believe like eight of those. I don't know. A gray piece and a yellow piece, which is really cool. Cause that's Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. Not Firestorm, just Team Hot Wheels. We got this. I'll show you because it's here. This is so there's a bunch of parts for a Barbie store, and I found this part. It's a Barbie store part that sells Hot Wheels, like a Hot Wheels shelf. It's really cool because it stands up by itself, and you can put Hot Wheels in the shelves. I don't know. So that's really cool. Got Hot Wheels ramp. The front of the Hot Wheels semi. Part of one of these. Some curve pieces. This thing, which is one of those things that you can hang off the edge of a table. Um, it's a matchbox. We got another matchbox thing, which let me demonstrate for you what it does. You put the car in there. You can open this door. It doesn't really matter. But then this also pulls out. I don't know. Um, then you lift it up. Yeah, then I also got this wagon, nothing special, a Hot Wheels clamp, two Hot Wheels launchers, one's the Angry Birds one, two of these things which came with instructions but not the car, which is stupid, um, this thing which the door opens and it's really cool because not, not just opens but slides backwards. So. Yeah, so this is a dig and safe thrift store if you need a refresher, I found all these by digging through bins, I got this. Thing. If you see one of these, buy it because there's some cool 90 sets that no one knows about and they're pretty fun. We got these Hot Wheels track pieces things here for this. I got it because mine was broken on the end. And then we got these, this set that, yeah. yeah. So I had to find each individual piece for that and. Yeah, but that's pretty much all for the Hot Wheels cars. This is going on for too long. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll be back for some other videos probably later today. Goodbye.